Today we're counting down the top geeky books of 2013. Hey guys, Anthony here for D News. I have Esther Ingalls Arkell here with me from io9. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. And just like you did last year, you have picked out the top geeky books of 2013. Yeah, the ones you have to read have before to... you are a geek in 2014. Based on what criteria? Geek pass Is there revoked. An algorithm that you go through? I just do the things I like because I assume everyone does or should like what I do. Valid. Mm. Uh, so the first one is The Magnificent Principia by uh, Colin Pask. Yeah, it goes through Newton's Principia Mathematica mm -hmm. and tells you exactly what it's saying with like all the original diagrams and kind of translates it from genius to regular person. Mm -hmm. The Principia is Newton's tome where he laid out all of classical mechanics and all of his sort of theories and stuff. Laws of motion, yeah. inertia, the whole thing. And it's often quoted or referred to, but very rarely read. Yeah, it's the prestige book of the science world, mm -hmm. and everyone's like, sure, I read it, or I know what it means, and this will really allow you to fake it much, much better. Good. Uh, the next one is The Shining Girls. Yes. Which is... It's by Lauren Bukes. Mm -hmm. And, well, I'd say it's science fiction. It's about a guy who stumbles into a house in the Depression and finds that through this house he can get to any time period. And because he is a miserable piece of crap, <laughs> he decides that um, using this wonderful house he will find girls who are about to change the world and kind of full of promise and he'll like stalk them through their lives until they're just about to and then kill them. Wow. Yeah, but it's not too much of a bummer because one of the girls survives and she's like, taking this guy down. Even though she's not a time traveler, which makes it tough. So this is cool because it's kind of a, a mix between fantasy and sci-fi and then a legitimate crime procedural. And it's a page turner too. And I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be a movie because it's just, it's got exactly that like. <gasps> it sounds like it. Edge of your seat quality. Do you want to be the person that's like, I just saw the movie, or do you want to be the person that's like, I read the book all the way back in 2013? Yeah, I don't know if you've seen my glasses and my beard, but I'm the guy who likes to say that you read the book. Mm, yeah. I like them both, but for different reasons. <laughs> um, <laughs> the next one is uh, the first two thirds of a fantasy trilogy. Yeah, it's The Steel Remains and The Cold Commands by Richard K. Morgan. Mm. Really think Conan, because okay. it's like the muscles and the hair and the sword that's named something cool. And his country has like a magical elf problem. And yeah. he is gonna deal with that using the sword. And Elves. yeah, I know, with the cheekbones, and uh -huh. I live forever, but that's a burden. Just Brushing like, their hair a thousand times on each side because they're practically immortal. Yeah. I don't like it. No. And if you want to see some elf beheadings, yeah. that, this is <laughs> the, the book to read. Well, these are the two books to read. Last one is written by Annalie Newitz, mm -hmm. uh, the editor over at io9. Yeah. Uh, Scatter, Adapt, and Remember, yeah. which is a really interesting idea. It's how human beings will survive the next million years of evolution. And she started l out looking at these mass extinctions, like the, the big, fast, comet ones and the really slow you know, evolutional slash ecological sad ones. Yeah, like which what? is interesting because that's sort of what people think we might be in the middle of now. Yeah, and she looks at what survived and she wants humans to survive. And she talks about like, what should be our goal for the next 10 years if we want to mm. survive? 100 years and, and how do we get into space and evolve into like space squids on swimming around a moon? Well, that sounds nice. I like it because it does, uh, number one, space squids. Yeah. And number two, uh, it really does. It's everything from city planning to how we should use our resources to how we should colonize space. It's like everything that we've ever thought about in the long term about how we're going to keep going. Yeah. She really kind of breaks it all down. If you want to check out any of these books, uh, a lot of them are available on Audible. So you go to audiblepodcast.com slash dnews and you can get a free audiobook download when you sign up. If you're traveling for the holidays, it's a great thing to listen to on the plane. And if you don't like the book that you download during your free trial, you can return it and they'll give you any other book that you want to listen to and check out within your 30 days. So definitely something to check out for the holidays. Esther, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. And bringing these books. I'm going to read all of them, especially Name Sword Guy one. <laughs> I'm really, because I'm an elf hater. Always have been, always will be. Good. If you have any issues with that, you can leave them down below in the comments, but you shouldn't. Bring it on, elves. <laughs> you can check out everything Esther writes over at io9.com and subscribe here for more D-News. <laughs>